So hi guys, uh, this is Bernard Kieberger from Tango Racing Simulator. Um, I tried to test and review a problem I have by starting the iRacing graphics interface, the new one. Um, I run regularly into two problems. One is that it's not starting correctly, showing just a black window without content. The other one is that after a session, uh, the new graphics interface remains transparent, which happens every time. The black window and no content is like, it feels random to me. I just started uh, the computer. The only thing running is a browser and OBS for recording. And I also get rid of um, some background tasks, which are starting automatically. Uh, Dbox motion code, checking for um, programs to start. So I get rid of those. Steam Deck, there's, there's a tool to blanking uh, the windows and motion code. And that's it. So basically everything is uh, deactivated, running in the background. I did everything the iRacing suggested. Um, I installed the latest NVIDIA driver. I deactivated all the features they suggested um, to deactivate the utilizing APX AA, AA um, sharpening and so on. Bunch of uh, list of functions and features they listed. I should try to activate. Uh, I did all of them. It's the latest driver. Same goes for uh, the Windows system. I updated all the, the latest updates. So it's completely up to date. I'm running um, Windows 10 uh, in the version 22H2 and uh, with all the updates installed. And as you can see, without any of the basically 20 additional tools I normally run. Let's start firing up uh, iRacing with the desktop link. In the last uh, three tests, um, most of the time it started without content. So just showing a black window. And now we see it with content. So first time after three or four times of trying. So this is how it should be. Let's try again. I had this before and uh, the microphone didn't work. So, well, let's go with that for now and uh, head in into a test session. I did this uh, test and procedure now like three or four times and every single time uh, when I started the graphics interface first time, right after I restarted the computer, it didn't work. Now you see that while I start the session, the background turns transparent and it remains like that uh, till after the session. That's happening every time. So let's just hop into this and back out. And so now after the session, um, the thing remains basically transparent. So um, you see the background from the desktop going behind the, the graphics interface, which is a bit annoying. So if you have a window behind it, you see basically everything what's going on being underneath, what is a kind of a messy thing. Let's try to start the GUI again. So this transparent problem is not a deal breaker because I still can use it, it's just annoying. That's happening every time and I hop into a session and back out again. And um, now you see I started it again and no, bear, no content is shown. So like I said, the first four priors I did this, this happened uh, for the first time I started it up. Now it happened uh, during the second time I started it up. So that's um, kind of unpredictable. Let's try a third one. Again, again, no content. Um, I'll try the website. So this is the members, our racing members that I reloaded. And uh, normally I still use this a lot because that it's the only way out uh, I can uh, join a race for sure, or a session. So I use this link 
on top to start the GUI. Every time a new tab goes on, at least this is also kind of annoying because uh, due to the problem that no content is shown like that, again, you see now, again, just a black screen. Um, and I try again to start this, there's another tab coming up and so on. So if I try this 10 times, I have 10 new tabs, uh, which I have to close again. Uh, again, I know it's working. You see, now there's content. I didn't do anything different than just before. Now we have content, everything is working. If I hop into a session, everything is turning transparent again. So um, that's uh, for sure. But at least now I could join a race. Just let's try third time again. So third link here. And no content again. So I don't know what's the reason behind that. Uh, I really think suggested a bunch of stuff, but that it works one time, it doesn't work the right afterwards next time, and it's really like random. Um, but I would say like 60 to 70 percent, I, I get a black window. Um, it, it's really annoying. So uh, at the moment, there's the fallback. I can use the website to try and sessions, but I really think announced that they are going to shut down this service on the website. So you have to use the, the new GUI. Uh, when they do this and it's working as unreliable as it is at the moment, that's a huge issue. So I hope they fix this. Um, this is basically a plain system. Um, there's a... I run like an NVIDIA surround triple screen and an additional fourth monitor uh, on the top. So that's the setup. Um, and otherwise, um, it's just a plain Windows system with any other tools running. So I don't know what's the issue. I opened the forum thread. I'm going to link this in the video. Now some other users uh, experience the same problem. So far, I really have no clue of what's going on. At least um, all the suggestions didn't help so far. I hope uh, this can be fixed as soon as possible.